Breaking news in the case of Jose Alba, he is the bodega worker who on July 1st was working uh, in a bodega on 140th Street here in Manhattan when a customer came into the store, confronted him, went behind the counter, threw him up against a chair, then violently threw him up against a merchandise rack. And during that confrontation, Jose Alba grabbed a knife and stabbed him five times, causing his death. This week, um, the Bodega Association of America met with the District Attorney of New York County um, and their primary uh, concern was the case of Jose Alba, that's the main reason they were there, but also they wanted to address uh, ways in which um, the District Attorney's Office and NYPD can provide more security to these grocery stores. And I want to tell you a little bit about bodegas here in New York City if you're not from New York. Bodegas are, are quite unique, uh, but they also can be compared to delis, uh, grocery stores, small grocery stores, and they're generally in communities in um, all throughout New York City, but especially in northern Manhattan, they're very popular, as well as certain sections of Brooklyn and the Bronx. And bodegas are small grocery stores that have all types of household goods, and they're open 12 to 24 hours a day, so when anybody needs anything at any time of the day, they had the convenience of going down, and even um, many of these bodegas prepare sandwiches, coffees. Uh, it's, a, it's a great convenience, and it's a great service that they do for the community. One thing that's very common about these bodegas is that they are vulnerable to crime. Because they're open such long hours throughout the night, crime uh, often takes place either at bodegas, inside bodegas, or crime starts out in the bodegas and spills out into the street. But bodegas are suspect to or vulnerable to uh, crime here in New York City. And so the members of this bodega association wanted to meet with the district attorney to find out how that how New York City, NYPD, and the district attorney's office can provide more security to these grocery store owners and workers so that this doesn't happen again. And uh, they asked some very poignant questions with respect to A, how NYPD can provide more security to these grocery stores. It's not uncommon that a crime may take place at a grocery store. They call the uh, local precinct, but the police don't arrive in time to be able to intervene or arrive after the incident transpired. And then there's no way of really uh, addressing the crime that took place. And there are other times when, of course, uh, it does occur that the NYPD does get there in time and, and, and is able to make an arrest. But the point is that um, they were wanted to know what type of uh, security measures can be implemented to help uh, provide more security to the bodega owners. And so one of the questions that was raised during the meeting was whether or not New York State um, should adopt the self-defense of stand your ground. Now this is a defense that used in Florida, but New York has not adopted it yet. Stand your ground is basically where a person is facing imminent serious physical injury or death. Whether the issue is whether or not, if they have an opportunity to retreat safely, whether or not that requirement should be, they should be held to that requirement of retreating. And in New York, there is that requirement that before one can use imminent deadly force, there's a duty to, to retreat if there's that opportunity to retreat before um, using deadly force. And so it, it doesn't look like we're heading in that direction and that the legislature is going to uh, change the law with respect to self-defense. However, it is something that uh, is very much on the minds of a lot of bodega owners and bodega workers. Another question that came up during the meeting had to do with whether or not bodega owners should be entitled to have uh, you know, should be armed with guns in case there is a threat of death. And here in New York City, uh, every store owner uh, is required to have a permit in order to be able to have a gun on premises. And so that is not uh, permitted. And the district attorney indicated that, uh, you know, store owners would have to follow those rules and regulations before being able to bring a gun into uh, the, the, the uh, commercial premises. So we'd like to hear your opinion on this. Uh, first of all, a, a, whether or not you think Jose Alba's charges of murder in the second degree should be dropped. Secondly, whether you think New York State um, should adopt a stand your ground policy. And third, 
whether or not grocery store owners should be permitted to keep guns, even unlicensed guns, on premises in case they're confronted with deadly violent, deadly force. We'd like to hear your opinion. Follow us for more. Thanks.